fun. <clears throat> so I'm going to now discuss the last topic by topic by the uh, quiz that is on neurothal optics and ocular injuries. And as I've told uh, tomorrow, I will give you a grand test of 25 questions. So I'll just check whether I'm visible and audible to myself. And then I will start the quiz. Let me check myself. Yeah, should be okay. So I'm also ready. YouTube is also ready. So slightly unwell today. So be at least. Huh? That's why I didn't. I was not able to uh, give the explanations yesterday. So let us start the first question. <clears throat> the first question, a patient was diagnosed to have uh, one side dilated pupil, which was more in light condition. So one side dilated pupil means there is an isochoria, difference in pupil size. More in bright light conditions means, means uh, the normal pupil constricts with light, but your pupil is not constricting with light. Means it is more, uh, the problem I will be in that pupil which has a dilated pupil. So just if you don't know this, that an isochoria word or that is in light conditions, you should know that which of the following is a cause of dilated pupil. AD's pupil has a ciliary ganglion lesion and that is a dilated pupil. Honest pupil is not the answer because that is a meiotic pupil. Problem in sympathetic pathway. Marcus gun pupil is a problem in optic nerve uh, tract, uh, optic nerve uh, afferent effects, optic nerve problems. But there is no anisocoria, there is no difference in pupil or there is no pupil size abnormality in Marcus gun pupil. In same happens in Wernicke pupil that is in optic tract lesion, but there is no problem in the size of the pupil. So only answer where there is an isochoria more in light or only uh, option where there is an isochoria which has a dilated pupil is a ADS pupil. And ADS is uh, an isochoria more in light, yes, because people will constrict, normal people will constrict with light, but ADS has a problem in ciliary ganglion region that is involved in light pathway. So light reflex is lost. But the good point is the near reflex is present because accommodation fibers are spared. Hi Saeed, hi Shikhar, hi ASE, ACE. Yes, A is the answer. ACE, very good. A is the answer of this first question. Okay, so this is also similar. See, uh, in dark, you can't see any difference in pupil size. In room light, there is a difference. This is the dilated, this is uh, constricting. In bright light, it's constricting, means left is normal. Right is abnormal and right there is dilated, but near it is converging. So this is light near dissociation, means constricting, not constricting with light, but constricting and converging with near. And there's a unilateral dilated pupil. That's where the answer here is, right side, ADS pupil. This is correct, B is correct. Diluted palocarpin test in the entire world can constrict only ADS pupil. So C is also correct. Because of supersensitivity, the post ganglionic fibers become hypersensitive, supersensitive. But the lesion is in ciliary ganglion, correct, but not the left ciliary ganglion, but the right ciliary ganglion. So D is the answer of this question. That is ADS pupil. Hi, Dr. Abhishek Dave. All right. <coughs> Okay, now this optics question during retinoscopy, the values are obtained in the vertical axis minus 2, in the horizontal minus 4 diopter. But it is given that cycloplegia, cycloplegia was used as atropine and 1 meter distance it was done. So this is during retinoscopy, you have to subtract the distance and subtract the cycloplegia. 1 meter means you have to subtract 1 diopter and atropine means you have to subtract 1 diopter, you have to remember this. Usually they don't give you cycloplegia in the exam. So vertical axis becomes minus 4 diopters and horizontal become minus 6 diopters. Now both minus means both rays are focused in front of the retina. That's why you're giving minus 2 diverge. So it is compound myopic astigmatism. So C and D options are ruled out. So two, two options are ruled out. Definitely you should attempt the question. Now minus 4 should be more in uh, minus uh, 4 in vertical minus 6 in horizontal. Minus 6 will be more in front because you are diverge, you are making it diverge more. And more in front means the cornea curvature of that axis might be more. That is steeper axis. 
So in our question, the minus six is in horizontal axis. That's coronal curvature is more. That's steeper axis. And by definition, horizontal steeper is known as against the rule astigmatism. That's the answer of this question. So many people say, sir, uh, we are very confused. Confused to both rate of log. कि कब हमें सब्ट्रैक्ट करना है कब हमें ऐड करना है रेटिनोस्कोपी में यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट द डिस्टेंस सब्ट्रैक्ट द साइकिल ब्रेजिया बट अगर आपको रिफ्रैक्टिव एरर दे दिया गया है उन्होंने एंड देन यू आर आस्क टू फाइंड द रिफ्लेक्स डायरेक्शन देन यू हैव टू ऐड बिकॉज देन यू हैव टू गो फ्रॉम द रिफ्रैक्टिव एरर देन यू हैव टू कम टू द वेयर इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ रेटिनोस्कोपी व्हिच डायरेक्शन द रिफ्लेक्स इज गोइंग देन यू हैव टू गो इन अ Uh, opposite direction, then you have to add. But during retinoscopy, you have to subtract the distance, subtract the cyclopegia as well. The difference in refractive error of two eyes is not an isochoria. That is difference of refractive uh, difference in the pupil size. Answer is an isometropia. Heterochromia is difference in color of the two iris. And uh, polychoria means choria means pupil, and uh, poly means multiple. So one eye there is more than one pupil. That is polychoria. Medicine made simple. I mean, how can I answer your question during the quiz? Please ask me in the Telegram or somewhere else. You are asking. I mean, such a vague question, and how can I answer during the quiz? Please. All right. Now this question many have done wrong after a, a nail injury. Right, and uh, a young male. पता नहीं क्या क्या होगा उसने nail injury खाली इसने. किससे खाई ये भी नहीं पता दिया नहीं है क्वेश्चन ये प्रेजेंटेड विद आई क्लिनिक विद पेन फोटोफोबिया वाटरिंग बिकॉज व्हेन देयर इज अ नेल इंजरी टू द आई द कॉर्निया एपिथेलियम गेट अब्रेडेड एंड अंडर द एपिथेलियम देयर इज अ नर्व फाइबर्स दैट कैन कॉज रिफ्लेक्स वाटरिंग फोटोफोबिया पेन इट वाज रिटन कॉर्नियल अब्रेशन इज डायग्नोज्ड व्हाट इज नॉट ट्रू नो मेनी पीपल हैव नॉट ट्रू द क्वेश्चन वाज नो व्हाई विल यू गिव कॉपियस इरिगेशन This is the injury. This is a trauma injury, not a chemical injury. If there is a chemical injury, the first thing is copious irrigation with saline. Here in trauma, you don't give copious irrigation. You examine, you take the vision of the patient, you examine the patient in a slit lamp under cobalt blue filter, fluorescent dye is used, and you pass the eye. In chemical injury, you irrigate the eye with saline. So when there is a repeat question, don't think that the exact repeat will come. Apply a little bit of uh, your common sense also. That chemical injury, you have to do copious irrigation. But not in corneal abrasion. Corneal abrasion means epithelial defect. Then you have to just patch the eyes by looking how much is the extent of the depth. How by staining with fluorescent dye under cobalt blue filter. So that's not done over here. The option. Hi, pain and respect. Now I'm to our pain and respect. Now, if the retina is assumed to be point number G, now listen to me very carefully. This is a vertical axis. See the three-dimension picture. This is the vertical axis, which is focused at point number B, and the horizontal axis, if you extrapolate, it is focused at point number F. I have given the question: If the retina is, is at point number G, it is assumed retina. Hey, no, you have to assume the retina at point number G. Both the axes are in front of the retina, means it is astigmatism, and both axes are in front. That is compound myopic astigmatism. So two uh, options you can uh, rule out: B and D. You can rule out. Now, how do you say is a with the rule against the rule? By definition, we know that vertical steeper is with the rule. Now, see this. This is the vertical axis, and vertical axis is focused point number B, and horizontal focus at point number F. Means which is focused in front? Vertical focus in front. I just explained vertical. The one which is focused in front has more steeper axis. So this question, vertical axis steeper, that is with the rule of astigmatism. This is the conoid known as Stoom's conoid principle, that is for astigmatism. Here in this, I've given a question: compound myopic astigmatism with the rule. <coughs> I think there's this uh, straight away question. Um, <coughs> Nihar ka jo scratching of the eye is avoided when there is an infection in the cornea, because that will lead to spread of the infection. So infectious keratitis. Then you have to avoid patching. Here there was corneal abrasion. Then you have to do patching. Now, find the sky visual field defect is uh, reserved for temporal oblation. It is contralateral homonymous superior quadrant anopia because of involvement of the inferior radiation fibers, that is M E Y E R mere fibers. Pi on the floor is parietal oblation. Keyhole visual field defects question won't come, but that is seen in lateral genital body lesion. Keyhole vision is seen in occipital oblation. Two different words. 
and pituitary gland tumor comes from the below the chiasma inferior fibers are involved so bilateral superior quadrant anopia heteronymous that is the first effect of pituitary tumor why it is not pine the sky because that will progress to bitemporal hemianopia temporal parietal lobe will not progress that's why pie in the sky is reserved for temporal pie on the floor is reserved for parietal pie on the floor a pie in the floor nahi or pie in the sea ke nahi hai usko tairna nahi aata doob jayega bechara now this is the diffuse red line picture showing blood in the anterior chamber that is hyphema can be seen after blunt trauma like a boxer was hit during fight and presented with i will be very high why because one reason can be the hemorrhage is blocking the trabecular meshwork so secondary open angle glaucoma there can be angle recession as well that is also open angle glaucoma there is a mild inflammatory component as well that can also lead to secondary glaucoma but main reason blocking of the meshwork by the blood so you have to give topical anti glaucoma cyclobulgic to relax the ciliary body and topical steroid to decrease inflammation that is done in uh, blunt trauma hyphema but prone position by logically you have to make the patient lie 45 degree head up that the blood goes down and the center area is clear so not supine not prone prone is worse at least supine is still okay but 45 degree propped up position is given for vitreous hemorrhage or hyphema because the blood will settle down and that will help the patient prone position will worsen that that's the answer of this question now this question is slightly tricky nuclear trochlear nerve palsy you know trochlear nerve nucleus you have to know one important thing it is in it is present in uh, uh, midbrain and uh, dorsal part of midbrain and the trochlear nerve crosses and supplies a contralateral so crossing point is anterior med medullary velum a neuro anatomy question neurology question so if there is a nuclear trochlear nerve palsy nuclear nuclear means the lesion is in midbrain contralateral superior oblique palsy is there at the velum it is bilateral so palsy but here contralateral so palsy is true and if there is a so palsy so palsy if you remember from cross in the class so so depressor so if so is paralyzed the eye is going up that is hypertrophy and patient has diplopia more on looking down in the direction of paralyzed muscle because in the cross it is down so going downstairs mean going upstairs going down means jab aap सीधे से नीचे जाते हो तो ऐसे जाते हो या नीचे ऐसे देखे जाते हो नीचे देखे जाते हो ना ऐसे कौन जाता है नीचे ऐसे तो गोइंग डाउन स्टेज दैट इज करेक्ट एंड इन लेफ्ट एसो पॉलिसी डिप्लोपिया हॉरिजॉन्टल मैक्सिमम ऑन लुकिंग राइट इन लेफ्ट एसो पॉलिसी डिप्लोपिया मोर ऑन गोइंग डाउन स्टेज गोइंग डाउन दैट इज ओके एंड सुपीरियर कम विथ ऑपोजिट हेड टेल सो सुपीरियर ऑब्लिक पॉलिसी लेफ्ट एसो पॉलिसी कम्स विथ राइट साइड हेड टेल सो देर इज अ कंपेन्सेटरी हेड पोशर यस देर इज अ कंपेन्सेटरी फेस टर्न फॉर avoiding horizontal diplopia compensatory chin for uh, avoiding vertical diplopia and compensatory head tilt to avoid torsional diplopia but the lesion is not in pons that's the answer you should know a neuroanatomy question trochlear nerve is uh, nucleus is in midbrain so that's the answer of this question and the last question there is a device that's a pinhole device a pinhole if you check the vision with pinhole the light will go only in one axis in the in the center and will go to fovea that is the maximum vision comes from fovea so if the patient has refractive error the vision will improve and it can fully neutralize plus 3 minus 3 refractive error patient has to tell something it is a subjective test but vision will decrease in nuclear cataract in central media opacity the light will not go to the center vision will further reduce and it will also decrease in macular pathology vision will increase in nuclear sclerosis when there is increase in the refractive index of the center of the lens that's why some rays are focused in front in cataract neither ray will go the, the ray will not go to the retina so far near vision is reduced in nuclear cataract that is wrong in nucleus crosses the far vision will improve because that is a index myopia question if you remember second sight phenomena old patient coming with decrease uh, far vision but improvement in the near vision because of nucleus crosses the rays are focused in front and become index myopia and myopia log you, you know myopia people have short sightedness they can see the near things better because the far point is close to the eye that is second sight phenomena for nucleus sclerosis patient not a nuclear cataract patient so vision will decrease in nuclear cataract that's the answer of this uh, shavan cycloplegic uh, is given in uh, uh, hyphema to decrease the ciliary body spasm to decrease pain and inflammation is there so topical steroids are also given to decrease the inflammation i think 
uh, 10 questions one or two trick questions were there chocolate nerve uh, palsy or that uh, one uh, copious irrigation by saline don't think if the repeat question that straight away repeat question can be asked and best of luck for tomorrow's uh, quiz all right thank you very much thanks for listening this wishes